Holy shit, but it's so long. These videos are so long. I, I, it's so hard to commit. All right, I want to check out this one. Wait, have you guys seen this one yet or not? This is zone between 52 and freaking 50, whatever. What do you guys think? Let's watch this junk. Wow, bro. Shut down our story. Make sure your videos check them out. Fall is on endorsement or intervention. Aliens. <gasps> they exist. They're real. And what's more, they're here and they've been walking among us for millions <laughs> of years. <laughs> Just <laughs> what is this editing? <laughs> Look up at the night sky. <laughs> Each one of those lights is ever. probably an alien. Oh. Shoot at them, and the police show up. Yeah. Coincidence? I Break think not. The CIA. <laughs> Just looking for clues. They put you on a no-fly list. You're right! Coincidence? No! There are no coincidences. Only truth bombs, and the government is holding the fuse. Locked up tight. Yeah, this guy's been watching Alex Jones. Area... 51. And so our story begins with one man. <laughs> Joseph Experience. Oh my bad. I meant Joe Rogan. On June 21st of the solar year 2019, Joe spoke Wait! to a I found Lana's brother! It's Bob! Whistleblower. Right! Bob Lazard. Now Bob claims to have worked at the Area 51. And so, Joe summoned him to his... Sensory... Dad, do you know Lana's name isn't actually Lazar? It's actually these nuts. ...deprivation satellite, where he could ask him probing questions about the that government facility. The machine that was able to read the, the size of your dicks. And yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You hear for yourself <laughs> this incredible testimony before the UN dun, takes dun, it dun. down. Why you is editing so used good? Used to work at Area 51. When did things get weird? Well, the way this went down was I only got hands on with one of them, and I was fucking an alien. It produced. <laughs> A little discharge from the bottom. <laughs> it was exciting. You know, we turned the lights on, and all these guys are there. So, what in the fuck is this? Uh, we have, you Andrew. know, actual hardware from another civilization. It's a big. Um, <laughs> this is so good. Live in a house? That's bullshit. I like just swinging around on trees. Absolutely. We are the sex organs of the machine world. What? So for people who don't know, let's give them the bullet points. How I, tall are you? I'm 5'10". You don't seem to have any muscle. <laughs> almost like a frame. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Well, the disc, the flying saucer. He had that shots I with an on. alien. I saw it sitting there, and I thought, oh my god. Hey, Bob, it's probably a good idea if you shut up. I worked underground with the aliens. They Chad, if I ever start a podcast, I aspire to be this level of petty. Shot my hand off. They're cool. underground. There's bases. They're shooting lasers through the Earth's crust, and they move them at light speed. You, you big fucking... What? I'm not even <laughs> doing anything. Drop huh. dead. Hey, why don't you come on out to the Nevada desert? Uh-oh. Deal. Get the fuck out. All right. That's it, folks. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> These revelations were sent out all over the world. <laughs> Using <laughs> beams. Absolutely free. And it started an incredible awakening, inseminating the people's brains with knowledge. Who oh. killed JFK? Flooring them <laughs> with the revelation of it all. An orangutan with Jeff, a spear. Jeff, you can't melt steel beams. With righteous curiosity. Bigfoot is a human animal hybrid. hybrid, hybrid. All right, here's the Google searches for areas. Yeah, they're talking about me. 51. That big spike there, that's when Joe Rogan put out his podcast. You get the idea. And you see, it reached what? the right man at just the right time. Whoa! whoa. A 21-year-old named Matthew Roberts. I was about to dox himself. He had heard about aliens in Area 51 before. Did you hear Area 51? Yeah, I happened to hit the Naruto so fast they couldn't keep up with me. He wanted to see him. Real bad. But what could he do? How could he possibly get into Area 51? to check him out. Think, 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 think. Scenario one. If I ran into Area 51, I would be shot and killed. Scenario two. 
If me and all of my friends ran in, we'd both be killed. But scenario three, if there were so many of us, thousands, so much fodder that they eventually ran out of bullets, then someone surely is gonna get through and touch the government in its special area. My God. Mm. Within minutes, he was drafting a Facebook post. They can't stop all of us. I'm willing to die for the government, let's do this. On September 20th, 2019, we'll all meet up at the Area 51 Alien Central Tourist Attraction yep. and coordinate our entry. Chat, I know someone who went to the Area 51 raid. I'll tell you when we get there. If we And the best part is, chat, you might know them too. Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. Let's see them aliens. This event then goes into the ether. And from here, it was up to the Facebook algorithm gods to decide what would happen next. Rally raid, clever. To be excited about. Wait, Mark Zuckerberg! I think this could be very positive for our society and economy. People from all across the flat world were receiving the invite and they began pressing the attending button. Chat, give me a one. Did you click attend on this junk or not? Nah? Well, you clicked and did effing go, be honest. Within just a couple of days, the what event had picked up editing? hundreds of thousands of attendees. What is this People editing, loved the dude? idea so much, they began making memes about how they were going to raid the base. So many I can barely show you a fraction of them, rapid firing them out like the bullets that would soon be gunning them down. Joe Norris is alien. And so the event spread <clears throat> and spread around the internet. Eventually, more just like COVID, morphing into HIV. Everyone who is something is gonna raid Area 51. Yeah, Young fine. people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. Nigel, a runner, no pointer, runner. Steve, eight, silent, a runner. Freeman, 713, I am a sentinel. Everyone's doing their part. Are you? We have the ships. We have the weapons. Kept trying to put his gun down! We need soldiers. Soldiers! And just like that, Enlist the game today. was on. Snackers, and we need you. Is the new campaign? You're gonna love it. To be or Nord to be. Plans Nord VPN. Oh. Dreams take over. No. I live. I laugh. No. I know. No. Chat, you guys think I should go to a convention wearing a ski mask? I wonder if I get tackled. Nord on every device, like a blank canvas. I can be here and anywhere. Jam a man of fortune. <laughs> Will you break these chains? <laughs> Wherever I go. Yes, my boy! Look at go! <laughs> Jam <and> a man. <laughs> No thanks. Look, I just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just an idea. I know what you want. You want the female <laughs> audience, and I know women. Good morning, you, women. Ladies. Wait, Chad. You what if you're a woman? About Nord VPN. No. You should get access to the international Netflix catalog. Never miss another episode of the handsome. Dog, your name is Mr. Unlucky. What? Man show. Oh, don't you hate it when your dishwasher gets region locked? No more. Oh, See, so look, safe Chad, my, we're even 50-50 men arms, and women. Especially Voting with true. Oh, there's Threat a woman. Protection. It right, protects okay, me from okay, 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 okay. and VPN. Okay. Get Nord. Okay. Amazing okay. prices. Why does this effing ad have more effing editing in it than the effing latest Avengers movie? Oh, yeah. What is going on? Tell him who sent ya. Ad over. I always get like 15 seconds. I always get 15 seconds. Welcome to the mission brief. I always get 15. Let's do a bit of background on Area 51. The ad is good. It was good. Secret it was good. Military I'm events. sorry. First developed in 1955. Are you trans? This no, I'm Decepticon. What it looks like on Google Maps. It's approximately this big. 
Total oh. area size? 51. And the volume? Uh -huh. A big mystery. Ooh. Until 1997, the government refused to even acknowledge that nice it existed. Nice to be too sick. That is, until they were forced to by lawsuit. That lawsuit was about the death of two men who were former employees. And how did they die? I'm a snake. Well, not aliens, but rather toxic fumes from burning garbage. Yeah, so what they would do is burn a whole bunch of cool, high-tech refuse <laughs> on the lot, let the deadly smoke blow downwind, and the staff was stuck breathing it in. Nice! A few years later, bing bing bong, Yeah, cancer! cancer. Other than that, the public has I've never seen a video about this. Like, there's literally, like, people that would just go next to these industrial garbage dumps where they would burn jet fuel and steel beams and stuff like that. And then everybody from that junk would end up with malignant cancer across their entire bodies and just, like, inevitably die. It was, like, and now, and they, it's like, it's like smoking cigarettes, except, like, it's like eight at a time for, like, three years straight. You just have to die. Really being told it anything. sucks. So all people can do is speculate whenever, whenever, as to what the hell is going on. It was aliens! You're right. You're keeping whenever, remnants whenever, of it. You can't bear, burn steel beams. Mods, ban wrecked Riker. We found the government employee. I followed there. Ah, oh, you have an NSA agent, frick! We don't know if it's aliens, we don't know if it's time travel, we don't know if there's minions in there. Uh, virtual reality that seems so incredibly sexy. But what has been leaked is that they do... Test flights on new alien craft. Motherfucker, don't you tease me. Come. Produce new <laughs> alien tech. Yo, let me catch a stream. Breathe the latest version the of the what? newest gayest frog. Do ooh, not ooh, get it confused ooh. with Roswell. That's over here. Area 51's over here. And the final thing that we know is that security is top notch. They have that thing locked down. So, you want to break in anyway? I do. Okay, but it's going to require some research. Is it really, though? And the first thing to find out, has anyone yeah. ever tried breaking in before? Yes, several times. Really? In fact, in January of 2019, but did they get shot? an unnamed man broke through security barriers and drove eight miles into the base. He what? got out of his car with a metal Wait, cylinder Wait, why did an eight-mile-long fence? What? In his hands. And the military opened fire. That's crazy. He was shot dead at the scene. No way. And there was this time when a film crew from the Can BBC was that? arrested for trying to get in. This is BBC News. This time when a vacationing family of four went off track. Well, Chad, they got better than stormtroopers. You get the idea. They're not messing around. Put your fucking hands up. I'm not going to tell you again. But there's one story <laughs> to top them all. And Will disguise his identity, but he is my personal hero. The month is November. The location, Las Vegas. I thought and it was going to dox him. A professional limo driver. Wow. Now, more than a little unhinged. He decides to start harassing and sending death threats to a lawyer. Whom we think was going to represent... Ah, uh, yes. Send harassment and death threats to a lawyer. The one dude that can effing kill you without even killing you. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. This incident. If you've ever seen this TikTok... What? That's our boy doing donuts and driving backwards down the Las Vegas Strip. Anyway, fast forward three Wait, weeks. Wait, actual it's like six driver? In the morning and this guy's already doing donuts at a <laughs> car park near the airport. <laughs> then he decides to drive from the car park Ow. into the airport itself. Offense? No problem. He drives right well, like, and on to the defense. The runway. Look out, there's He's a plane! Just driving around, whizzing between planes, almost crashing several times before eventually parking on a ramp. Uh -huh. At this point, he jumps out, puts on a clown mask, what is bro's and storms right up to a private jet. He announces, aggressively, to the flight staff that there is a bomb in his limo. <gasps> Quote, I have a fucking bomb. I'm going to blow this place up. Oh no, his it's plan, the Joker! To commandeer this private jet and take it to Area 51. No way! However, as sound as this plan was, the quick response by police meant that it wasn't really working out. No! So, he bails back to his limo, tries to make an escape, until eventually police catch up with him. At that point, he is no! quickly arrested. They take him in for questioning, and he starts telling them, that's right, I did it to see the aliens. He Can also we get some gigantash for this dude? He is so based for that. told them to refer to him as the chosen one. 
Dude, and Evie by the way, I it. have high security clearance. <laughs> also, I'm involved with the mob. And someone owes me millions. Chat, smash or pass aliens. Millions of dollars. Later on, the bomb defusal crew checks out the limo yeah, and determines that it's just a yeah, fire extinguisher is good, yeah. with a bunch of wires and duct tape and some fairy lights. Now, at some point, he gets out, Pass. presumably on bail, Smash. and CNN report is walk up to him and start asking him questions. No, no statements from me, he says. You pass what? But you should talk to my lawyer. And then he proceeds to hand them the business card of the lawyer that he's been sending death threats to <laughs> for the last three weeks. <laughs> Amazing. After all that, the judge ordered them sent to a mental hospital Such a for assessment. No! Also, they say... Ooh, how convenient. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so people have really died trying to do this. That means we're going to have to be a little more covert. So over at Area 51 HQ, the military can see that Facebook numbers have reached 1 million. Yeah! And it doesn't take a genius to calculate that even if just 1% of them show up. I'm trying to calculate that if, if a lot of people show up, then it'll, it'll be a lot of people. That's, wait a minute. Run those numbers. This many people. In a crowd that big, there's bound to be at least a few who do something stupid. In fact, Yo, Hebe, thank the military you. took it so seriously that they even went over the nuances of Naruto running. This is a real <laughs> slide. By the way. <laughs> and it required a real demonstration, of course. Now, some <laughs> undercover. We won, boys! We won! Then took a photo of that brief. <laughs> and they uploaded it to Reddit. They intend to use our tactics against us. <laughs> so, if the military decides to do this, no! things will go no! pretty badly for Matthew. We lost some so runners. Matthew goes back to his mom. Quick, send it reinforcers! We gotta fight them with the gallery! Rednecks and shopping carts with engines! And palace. Think. Thing. No! Thing. Uh, let's not keep saying it's a raid. Instead, let's do a music festival. Ah, music this festival. This would give Matthew an alibi and throw authorities off the scent. Oh, oh this is music it. Music festival. For, sure. For the government, let's do this. All right, Reddit, here it Yo, is. Yo, they're running on my Indian head. Stock 2019. Yeah, the official EDM party. Hosted by Matthew Roberts. Wow. It's set to take place in Rachel, Matthew Nevada. Robertson. A town that just so happens to neighbor Area 51. It has 50 th total residents and practically no infrastructure. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, nice try, fellas, said the military. And the captains and the generals all started planning their own EDM party. <laughs> the military party. Three groups the in deep particular. State. Introducing Group E. The E local state police. What about Group D? Police have their work cut out for them. Because, owing to this party, uh -huh. they think there could be upwards of 50,000 people descending upon the little town of Rachel. <laughs> Lincoln <laughs> County commissioners trying to tackle the tough task of preparing for a potential inundation of people. And Sheriff Kerry Lee has less than 30 deputies. The county declares a state of emergency, and they allocate an extra two hundred and fifty thousand like dollars worth of They're enforcement like for fleas. the weekend of the raid, as well as an extra three hundred police officers and paramedics. That many people are going to stress the community to the point that it, it just it, we can't. <laughs> They're interviewing two percent of the city's population right now. Cope with it. This is some of the most exciting stuff yeah, that I've Mark. ever gotten to work on. Yeah, what was more exciting, the Area 51 raid or the effing mosque one? And I'm- Hold on, Mark. Oh. Group D, the defense. Then I'm gonna take up my gun Keep me up there, Facebook. So the FBI agents that showed up, they showed up at 10 a.m. They contacted my mom and you're like, so she texted me, she's like, the FBI's here, answer your phone. So I was kind of scared at this point, but. This report from the Nevada Department of Public Safety was released last year and it features some very interesting details. For example, they called a group of YouTubers trying to plant a tracker on the bus that goes to and from the base. <laughs> We're up one epic prank. Highly illegal. <laughs> and you may not be that surprised to hear that the military isn't actually that worried about people breaking into the base. No Turns way. Out they have automated weapons. Not automatic weapons. Automated, whatever that is. No, instead, they think there's potential that real terrorists uh -huh. will, you know, 
to the thing, or a thing. So, counterterrorism was given a budget to sweep for chemical, biological, radiological, and explosive material. Although, nothing was found. And there's what just the one thing? last group getting involved as well. The media! The corporate press. The M media! Disinformation agents in the mainstream media were getting involved. They immediately started warning people not to raid. Use of lethal force. To be honest, if I didn't think showed up, they wouldn't have stood a chance. They would have just gone home on that day. Authorized. Spouting contempt <laughs> for the stormers. What started as a joke Facebook event quickly turned into a phenomenon. Reaching well, it began as a joke, but now it's the US US Air Force Force is taking much these more serious. Astroturfing campaigns by late night haha -ha men number one through seven. It's much more likely they'll see them tasers. Ha ha ha, laugh it all up. It's just a big joke. Mm, this is a joke. They're interested, just keep uh, faster than their bullets. Let's see them aim. And they weren't afraid the to give some of the oh, biggest, yeah, the brainest the takes you've kids. ever heard. It's not clear the 1.1 million Facebook followers who said they are going to storm Area 51 are real and not Russian bots. You're a goddamn genius! <laughs> what it is it's the god dang russians hacking our facebook to rig the election and raid area 51 fine we'll make you take us seriously let the training begin dude this guy is these videos are so insane i don't i don't know if i've ever seen like a long form video editing with like the quality of like a two minute video it's insane and speaking of that I think it's time for my workout. And so the Raiders began training. We train for Area 51, so let's go. Sandwich. They began pushing their body. Go on, make it happen. Pushing their will. Pushing their spirits. Pushing their minds. <laughs> To be honest, if this Area 51 raid actually happens, weeps will get exterminated. Everyone's going into that big nerd, dude. Pushing their friends and No Naruto background music. <coughs> Copyright. Emily's Copyright's real! To the list. Woo! Yo! Who wants to call me to kick some alien butt? In September, join me. We out. We out. And that's what fitness will Mark. be like in the metaverse. Yo, Finney's nuts in your mouth. As we zero in on the day of the raid, the count is up to 2 million attendees, and that puts us on par with the world's largest standing army. True. So to coordinate all of these troops, we'll need a battle strategy. Lay it on us. From r slash memes, <laughs> Mark, intel was being stop. filtered down to the troops. Groups such as the Minecraft YouTubers, <laughs> the Normans, <laughs> the Weeds, Facebook moms, the oh, 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 chads, the crack kids. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Florida yeah. man. The oh, yeah. The gay Reddit mods. Okay, this thread is locked. And the North Korean defectors. They all have their role to play. I wouldn't fight them. They're too tough. So, Godzilla comes in from the east while the Australians make a distraction that allows the minion cosplayers to breach from the south. Oh? Of course, these very serious strategies would have to be disguised Main as wars, memes second so wave. that they could be spread across YouTube, Reddit, and TikTok without uh -huh. the threat of being... Uh -huh. Although, not everyone was Stop. as tech savvy. Why does having frog Naruto freaks keep ending up on my face? I'm getting tired of it. Authorities managed to nab one of the main cartographers and they pressured him into an interview on the television. Um, it took me a total of five minutes to put this image together. It was sort of like a, a battle strategy almost. It was completely rooted in satire. That was just completely rooted in satire. And no one should raid, this is just completely a joke. And completely just a joke. <laughs> Mission counting sheeple complete, you can take him out. Okay, so remember how we're not raiding anymore and it's just a music uh, festival? Uh, yeah, wink, wink, uh, wink, wink. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, bad news. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, so it sounds like you maybe are looking at changing venues. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> it's all up in the air. Wait, we'll they got a the guy on TV. Five. There's a lot of challenges. So. <laughs> but it's two weeks away, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of got to, like, uh, figure it out, I guess, somewhat soon, right? Yeah, it's all kind of falling apart. No! See, Matthew had organized alien stock with a few other people. But his main business partner was Connie West. I didn't plan it. Connie West. <laughs> but Matthew. 
yeah, she lives, laughs, and loves for sure. He is the headline. His name is attached to everything. And he's Mario, starting to get worried bro. about a fire festival type situation in the desert. Be a fire fest 2.0. He wanted to make sure there's plenty of water, food, security, Stop. insurance, etc, etc. Et and here, deals and communications start to break down. No! Eventually, there's a lawsuit and it's kind of boring. Yo, Things beauty. that they were supposed to pay for, I'm stuck paying for. Who cares? Yeah, yeah my man. But the TLDR is that they had a disagreement. And Connie said, I don't have to prove to you what I spent. You didn't sign a fucking contract with me to begin with. So guess what? I don't need to prove to you a motherfucking thing. And Matthew said, Matthew then took $70,000 worth of sponsorship money and declared Alien Stock and Rachel cancelled. But then, at the same time, Bud Light walks in. It's the Bud Knight. We're saved. They say, hey, why not do it here? In the Vegas. It has plenty of lighting, indoor plumbing. It has everything. What? Matthew said yes. And what? And then using the website for Alien Stock, he told everyone to not go to Rachel and instead to go to Vegas. What? Welcome to Alien you Stock sold Las out. Vegas. Sponsored by Bud, Bud Light. Yeah. Also, no, they sold out. Hub, but it's a long story. Connie was left to pick up the pieces. However, she would not be discouraged so oh, yeah, easily. Dude. She decided you got the to bag. press on. Yeah, whatever, it's be a man. No matter what, it's Says be a you, party. she had to take you. full control of the event and Rachel dipping if into the. If I organized a raid on Area 69, I would not compromise the integrity of our strategy to take over and uncover aliens for real. That's worth way more than any amount of sponsor money. Proving aliens are real to the general public. That's worth way more. Savings and even mortgaging her home. I'm working out of my own pocket. I think this is a liability. I'm out. So is it clear what's going on? <laughs> it's worth doing a very fast recap because there's an event in Rachel that's been declared cancelled but also not cancelled. Also, I forgot to mention there's an event in Hiko that isn't cancelled but it will be on the second day. There's also that third festival in Las Vegas which has the former promoter of the first one and they both share the same damn name. What? And none of this has anything to do with the actual raid on Area 51 which is here which has several gated entrances by the way and none of them have been declared the official gathering point. Confused? Yeah, pretty much everyone was. It's a goddamn mess. People, yeah. rightfully, put the whole thing in the two hard basket and instead of going to one in the middle of nowhere, just went to the one in Vegas. <laughs> Wait, everyone just went to Vegas? What? <laughs> Let's fast forward. Whatever. To the weekend of the uh, raid. For better or worse? If, I wonder what would have happened if they just stuck with the script and just said we're meeting at this gate. You know, I, I, obviously people would get arrested for causing the loss of life if someone got shot. Obviously, it would be very traumatic. However, like, what could have been, you know? Rachel is about to it open its doors they, they actually to the could have gone and raid. Hell yeah! Alien stop! Encore now has come to an abrupt halt. Don't let the aliens get you, kid. Exactly. Do you believe in aliens? I don't. I don't. Run! Get out of here! Oh, you know, I want to... You could be collabing with an alien right now? I know Henya's not. Hear about the alien liberal agenda? They put out some good talking points. We don't know. To protect my mind from interference. Don't let me leave, Murph! It could be anything stuck. Alien stuff. How do you see you <laughs> with that shirt up over your head like that? I know. And the first ones are supposed to be always you know, the best ones. Paranormal lawyer. PhD level. <laughs> stuff in downtown Las Vegas. Did they change the name or is it still alien stock? I think I'm on my highest high I've ever been in my life. <laughs> look at it. And, and we are taking a look kind of the area. Wow! Where you've done a lot of work Toilets! Very short of time. <laughs> Toilets! 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 Yeah, that was pretty good. I, uh, I, just, I just went through a breakup, guys. Well, it wasn't quite the event that they had hoped for, but they did do a commendable job of acting retarded for the news. Yeah. This is the most fun I've ever had in my life. Yeah. You think I can stop it <laughs> I, I do. Here for scientific reasons. <laughs> this is like the most millennial thing that's ever happened. Yeah. But don't let's forget. The 
had a banana in his pocket? That's Pico. crazy. No one knows how to pronounce it. This event was being hosted by George Harris of the Alien Research Center. The owner of the center is Las Vegas businessman George Harris, creator of Alien Tequila. If you want to have fun, Alien Tequila. If you want to have a great look, it's a great day. Base camp was equipped with a vendor village of 10 food trucks, a gift shop, and three-time Grammy Award winner Paul Oakenfold. For some reason, I was told there's a lot of people coming. Uh, well, right now things are kind of slow at the Heiko event here, so that's kind of a disappointment. Now, Heiko Base Camp was expecting somewhere between 1,000 and 20,000 attendees. It's quite a range. Attendees. Maybe. 50 people here clapping some alien cheeks yeah but no cheeks are clapped yeah, where's at the all. cheeks none where's zero the cheeks. cheeks this is like <laughs> the first of a big thing uh, <laughs> but it wasn't in fact it seems as though the majority of the attendees were actually the press one lady believed that her parents yeah i heard about that a ton of press guys showed up and no actual human showed up alien so after uh, not mutually excluding media from being humans, but you get the idea. For the first night, they decided to cut their losses and cancel the whole event. You know, the producers of the show, it's very, very, very expensive. And it just didn't make sense. Because basically all of the attendees were stolen by... Alien Stock 2019! Bro. We, we're gonna go out to uh, Rachel. Bro, they sold out. And then we decided that we didn't want to get stuck in the desert. Uh, as much as I like Mad Max, I don't want to live they it. The Las Vegas out. Alien Stock, sponsored by Bud Light, was a smash hit. They've Whoa. got carnival rides, photo ops, video games, and even a pool. No running. Who could have predicted this? You make a post at 2 a.m. with on a page that has 62 likes, no, and now you have. You sold out! Thousands of people that are ready to come. Coward! Here, so it's just, it's absolutely amazing. Back at Military HQ in Anna Orlando, operations were ramping up. They're adding more guards, wow. upping the security, and enforcing a no-fly oh, zone across the county. They were even infiltrating raider groups. You could be standing next to an officer and not even know it. There's a like really undercover presence here. And they were giving stern warnings from the PR team. They posted this tweet. The last thing millennials will see if they attempt to raid Area 51 today. Cringe! Just shoot me! Sorry to disappoint you, Yugi! Huh? You triggered my trap card! Millennials immediately seized upon the tweet, <laughs> doing what they do best by pretending to be offended, successfully having the tweet taken down, and forcing a public apology. I'm retarded. Alright, this video is getting very long. Let's hurry up to the Yo, main baby made this video. The Raid. Uh-huh. Hey, are you coming? Yeah. Is that kind of selling me? Kinda? Yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was me for a second. Ah. The Raid Shadow Legends is a Oh frick, the ending! The actual production budget on this bad boy is insane! Did it go! Uh, woo! What is the production value? No, they're hit! Come on, boys! Yo, Raiders! Where are my Raiders in chat? No, it's a Raider in chat, boys! Get in there, smack us! Let's go! You wouldn't dare. You wouldn't dare. We're fighting back, Snackers. We got the elite sniper squadron in. They're in. They're going down. We're going to take them out. This is like the battle of Geonosis. Holy frick, what is going on right now? Oh, God. 
Yo, Mitch Jones? No way, they got the hoverboards! They got the drones! Woo! No, I can run! No, I can run! We will lead on. Oh, frick! We just killed Bumblebee! Mark Zuckerberg is here! Our chat, our leader is on the battlefield! We can do it! We can win! We must unite Mark with his family! It's the only way! Oh, frick. Oh, yo. Oh, the toilet. <laughs> it's Zulema, dude! He's dead! But it was for a good cause. Okay. I think we can win this, boys. I think we can cluster this one out. He's put the key in the hole. Stop him! Oh no. It's the final moment. They're busting out the alien technology! They're all thing! One of the ready player one! Retreat, Snackers! Retreat! You can overrun! It's a drop! Is anyone still there? Are you guys good? Hello, Dalaran? Dude, I love World of Warcraft. No! We lost so many good ones, man! <laughs> Our pores have been devastated, Snackers. No. No. No! Wait, can Mark Zuckerberg save us? <laughs> hey, Lamau, shut up. <laughs> Epi alien sided frick. We gotta free them. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Hey, Lamau. Round two! What is it? Oh, the care package. Yo! We're sponsored by Monster Boys! Uh, $100 if we hit the gritty bet. Say less. What'd you think? I literally hit the gritty. We're going in, boys. This is the W we needed. Hey, Lamal. Hontoni. Ah, I'm gonna eat you. Thank you for saving us. Wait, what are those at the bottom? We are so grateful. <laughs> Quite like that, but was pretty close to something like that. Although I guess you could say that only a small group showed up to the main gates we themselves. We did it. Where are the million people? Of over two million people, in total, only about two hundred actually went. I know one of the two hundred. But it's not about the quantity; it's the quality that counts. Nice outfit. Thank you. <laughs> Clap them cheeks. Clap them cheeks. <laughs> now throw them over. No, it was People not me. I did not go. Themselves. I mean, I think it's awesome. I'm like guys... trying to find him in the video right now. You guys are, you guys are following the laws, following directions, so. Yeah. But they weren't about to leave without a consolation prize. Get some of the Area 51 soil. No Top way. Secret rock. Top no secret way. Rock. Top secret rock. <laughs> they got the rock. You can have it. It's from Area 51. Thank you. Okay. Also present at the raid were a few rock. YouTubers. Oh. So I came here to get myself an alien as a pet. We're here. It's like it's like Halloween. But is that Rally Raid was there? But we're just annoying huh? people. Are, are you guys gamers playing games? 
you know, you, you watch anime. Yeah, so you got the rebellious youth, and then you got people trying to lure E.T. into a cage with Reese's Pieces and stuff. That's a pretty good summary of the crowd that you Reese's have out here this pieces. weekend. But respect to the true heroes. Security. For keeping everyone. Ah, just kidding. It's the guys who got underneath this Yo, fence. Logan Paul. God bless them. Gotcha. Oh, no. And this cameraman, whose foot raided the base. Yo, facts. That's a foot I see. And this random woman who decides to just start walking. Police, right there. No one's stopping <laughs> her. Oh my god. She's gonna make it. <gasps> She's going free. home. She gets charged for trespassing no! and receives a $1,000 fine. Reposo. Ah, but soon it was time the to wrap up. That was a giga chest. Because everyone's moms were there to pick them up. And if they were late again, there would be big trouble. Okay, good night, everyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sleep now. Good night. <laughs> the end. Psych, it's not over. Oh? There's one more thing that I want to tell you about today. What? Because Storming Area 51 would go on to inspire a plethora of other events. The storming of Loch Ness. That thing can't hide from all of us. We think we have seen it. What did it look like? It looks like a big stone. Over 27,000 <laughs> said they were going. Actual number six. Okay, but storm the Bermuda Triangle, why not? It can't drown all of us. True. And potentially millions actually went. But the, you know, the evidence would be lost, so how would you know? I am under I the water. Of course. Please help me. Or how about Storm the Vatican? They can't molest us all. <laughs> no! I wanted to make that joke! Interesting twist on that one, though. Someone cancelled the event. Break. But overall, everyone had a pretty good time. Isn't that what Area 51 was really built for? Uh, aliens? That's something like that, you know what I mean? I, I Is it a coincidence that an alien rhymes with alien area? Think about that. Wait, how did they put so much of the song in without getting copyrighted? What? Is this song copyright free? And also, more frequently. Looks like you fell for it. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Yeah, so I'm gonna See leave you in the next one in two years. Or check out the Incognito Mode channel. That has a lot more upload. Goodbye.